Hello everyone and welcome back to Above the Line, an intimate conversation with some of Hollywood's most recognizable faces. I'm Mark Ellis and I'm delighted to be joined today by Tom Cruise. <laughs> Honored and privilege to be here, Mark. Uh, next to him is, <laughs> good to see you, uh, as always, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Ewan McGregor to my left. Uh, to his left is Robert Downey Jr. Hi, I'm Robert Downey Jr. And to his left is George Lucas. Well, I apologize. Uh, Earlier I had a burrito and I've, I think I've got the uh, Kessel runs. So, I knew something. I thought it was a gas leak. Well, I just smells want to wet. apologize. Smells I wet. want to apologize. It's I know very wet. you guys were all thinking it. George. Gentlemen, the world's gone streaming. Streaming services are all the rage these days. Robert, when did you first realize that streaming was dominating your industry? You know, first I thought it was another word for golden showers. You know, oh, yes, that's a streaming thing. Sure, you know? sure, but sure. It turned out to be. It turned out to be what it is, which is strange and also perplexing and weird. The fact that something can come into your house, into your TV set, it's invasive. It's invasive surgery. There's a lot of little fine print, isn't there, all the yeah, time? Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. That's that's how it starts. Uh, at first, everyone's uh, ooh and ah, and then later there's running and right. streaming uh, <laughs> because uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. sure. Jurassic Park, when it came out, Jeff, I, I don't know that you could have been aware that eventually Jurassic Park would be a DVD. Uh, right, but right, before right. streaming services came to be as we know them, you would use Netflix to send you DVDs. Oh. Jeff, do you remember the last DVD that Netflix sent you? Oh gosh, yes, yes. Uh, 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 Metro, Metro with Eddie Murphy. But I uh, had a dinner party and I remember that I was out of coasters. So I cleverly, I got the DVDs and I used them as coasters and I never returned them. So uh, yes, I remember. Yes. Never return your DVDs. Uh, Tom, do you have any unclaimed DVDs that you need to send back to Netflix? <laughs> Well, actually, my loyalty resides with uh, Blockbuster. I'm a Blockbuster boy. You know, I don't even understand Netflix. What does that even, <laughs> what does right, that even mean? Right, right, right. <laughs> Ultimately, it's a disaster. I remember when uh, I used to get physical discs uh, in the mail. So I would, uh, one of the things I did early on was uh, I took all the, uh, the uh, original versions of Star Wars that they used to rent, and I, I kept them all. So they don't exist. They're not in circulation anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you and with these new streaming services like Disney Plus, oh, yeah. I hear you're going to have your own Obi-Wan Kenobi show on the new service. Yeah, they finally figured it out. <laughs> they cracked the code. They, forever, they were making all these other ones and then they're like, oh, that's right. <laughs> well, we'll go with Obi-Wan. Uh, George, they huh? actually... What? What? We sorry. were just talking about streaming oh, services. Oh, I, I dozed off. I'm sorry. Did you know that, George? Are we boring you, George? Yeah, I heard. I heard. We're boring you? As He's one a of the pioneers of uh, film technology and furthering the art of cinema, hmm. your take on streaming services? Well, I've said before that, you know, digital was the future. Uh, now we got this bullshit, uh, sorry, you know, I really can't believe you sold out and you're doing this, this horse's ass shit. Remember when JJ was uh, you know, going around shilling for the uh, Force Awakens, and they were just oh, guess what everybody we're shooting it on 35 millimeter, all oh, you know like 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 Joe Average in the Middle States gives a shit, he doesn't care, he just wants to see the effects. Oh, we're using puppets, it doesn't doesn't give a shit. It's fascinating to see this type of talk on yeah. Star Wars, Robert, uh, Jeff, Tom. I, I want to ask, what did it do to you as as children when you got to see? Star Wars in theaters. It was one of those things where you remember where you were at the time. I remember because I was peeing my pants because I was a child. So, thanks a lot. Ultimately, Star Wars is a diuretic. You know, that's, yeah. that's it was designed that way. These films were designed that way. Yeah. Uh, you don't realize that as you're watching them, but most people do feel that they have to go to the bathroom and excrete or expel. And that's on yeah. purpose. They were designed that way. And they it were worked. That, they were in the, that's that's true, work. yes, yes, uh, yes, yeah. Jeff, you certainly have a wild, wacky world that is yes, all your own. I you do, actually I have do. a show on Disney uh, Plus, The World According to Jeff oh, Goldblum. Well, I don't want to boast, but yes, yes, we have two shows on Disney Plus, so we're sort of uh, uh, towing the uh, company line. Of course, of you, you, Robert, have all the Marvel films now. Disney Plus. We're all on Disney Plus. Disney Family, except for um, Tom, Tom, Tom. Well, I, I, uh, I tend to. I tend to right. right. Uh, I tend to walk yes, to the yes. beat of my own drum. You know, I do sure what I want. Do. I'm a producer these days. Oh. You know, and I do my own stunts. I do everything. Do you produce so. all the? Yeah. All the Im impossibles. All the impossibles. Yes, Every single uh, one until... until That's impossible. 
Uh, very Seriously, nice. think about it. Do the math. Tell me. Right there. I've, I've done the math. Ooh, yeah, that's well. very good. Robert, you've worn good. a lot of hats in various movies you've been associated with. The Iron Man character, a lot of people were saying could be nominated for an award, that maybe you'd be up for the Best Actor Oscar at the Academy Awards ceremony. Well, of course, I would be deserved so, I think, on some levels, because, you know, I've given it my all. You know, I'm, all, I'm a team player. You know, I'm a nice guy. You know, I smell good. I, he does I can very, confirm that. Yes, he does. yes, he yes. Very good. I'm wafting. Uh, what is the, what is the, what is this? Pocket, it's pocket for breeze. Pocket I keep for it breeze. In my pocket. Uh, yep. Oh, this is. I have to get this. This is very good. Jeff, oh. if I can bring it back to the to the streaming conversation, uh, sure, sure. And uh, the conversation about awards. There's a lot of debate in your community right now about whether streaming films should be considered for award nominations. Anything wins these days. Anything can win at any time. So it's like you know, if it's a Velveeta commercial. You know, look out. Well, no, that, that's not going to be considered for a, a motion pictures. If it's done well, if it's done black and white, done perhaps French noir. Sure, sure. I, I like this. And I think uh, Steve uh, Spielberg, uh, I think he he disagrees. I think he feels that, uh, of course, that the streaming is not eligible for the, the awards. But Well, he was, of, he was wrong about Laserdisc, too. You know, he fought hard for Laserdisc. For well, uh, and Laser Tag. Yeah. And he remember Laser, laser Tag, yes. Yeah. So bring it great. back Star to Wars. the <laughs> film uh, conversation. Yeah. Uh, I know Steven Spielberg, a good friend of George's, uh, yes. uh, he does have strong opinions on the state of affairs, as does Martin Scorsese. Robert, he actually came out recently and said that he does not consider Marvel Cinematic Universe films to be cinema. He compared them more accurately to theme parks. Well, these guys are getting up there age-wise, and they're having digestive problems. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would just attribute it, you know, they're just in a cranky mood because, you know, their diaphragm doesn't work. Yeah, it's yeah, true. that's true. Dude, because you may have diaphragm. I, I have one. Uh, if you'd like to see it later, uh, it's it's. I don't um, know how you show well, it. well, I, I keep them because you never know. You know, you may give them to you a friend. You keep or something. diaphragms. Sure, sure. Because I'm. Here Wait, I think you're thinking a diagram. Diagram. That's no, no. it. Yes, yes, diagram. yes. Because I was about to say, Jeff. Yeah, diaphragms sure. on you. I'd have to leave. <laughs> I mean, Jeff, no, you know no, it no. is interesting. You're such an eccentric personality, and we see the current culture that's in Hollywood. How have you avoided? Scandal. I well, well, I I, I I stay in. I don't go out a lot. I, I, I mainly play uh, my music, jazz. I'm doing a lot of uh, piano playing, and uh, that's years ago. I was you know sleeping with uh, uh, Gina Davis, a large. It's like an Amazonian. Uh, How'd you get, get Gina Davis, by the way? Oh well, well, well. Seriously, be honest with this. We don't need all the dirty details. Uh, yeah, well, no, no, but well, that would well, be I was doing a scene where I was hanging from the the, the rafters as the fly, and uh, then we locked eyes, and uh, she's into insects. It turns out she enjoys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or at least oh, someone hung like an insect. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. But, yes, that's, uh, but it's more of a. Oh, it's more oh, of a compliment. More of a. Ooh. Yeah. Robert. Well, as we get back into the topic at hand, and that would be streaming services. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, George, I want to start with you. What was your most intense show binging experience? Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. What program really got you sucked in? Well, I really have been enjoying the, uh, the Friends. Uh, I was binge watching all of that. I was kind of a fan of that, you know, Ross Rachel stuff. And I like the little monkey that was in there too. What was that uh, monkey? Marcel. Marcel. I would say that was that was a little too quick. But uh, I enjoyed Marcel, and I actually based a lot of uh, Jar Jar Binks on uh, Marcel's movements and, and his, his character. Is Just, that true, on Marcel yeah, from Friends? Sure, sure. He's where's the love for Seinfeld here? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not really understanding what's happening here. Where's the love for well, Seinfeld? You know, ultimately, it's, uh, it's a show, but there's nothing. It's about nothing. But even nothing is something. Well, you know. You're a head and shoulders okay. commercial gone wrong, okay? <laughs> I, I think he's, he's being complimentary that you have. Such great just hair at around. your just, age. That's, a, Dan, that's a dandruff shampoo, okay? Let's not mince words. I know what it is. You're out of your mind. <laughs> you know what? I'm starting to like it, though. Woo! Uh, Tom, I'm going to give you the answer of Seinfeld for the streaming question. You know, the ice planet of Hoth was uh, based on, uh, in the late 70s, I had a bad bout of uh, dandruff, and that's that's kind of where the idea came from. And I'll tell you, one time I was eating uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos and I was dreaming. And I came up with the idea for Mustafar, the, uh, the lava planet. So a lot of it's about dreaming and eating and sleeping. <laughs> I it's, love Flaming Hot Cheetos. Yeah, they're good. Uh, Robert, you certainly had a great run as Iron Man. Had in... a great run? It's super Look fake, by the way. Pause it. Go in yeah. on a close-up. Uh, Robert, there seems to be Hold growing... on a second. We're on a close-up. I got a camera coming at me right now. I'm Iron Man. And you were almost Iron Man. Almost Iron Man. You were oh, almost right. Iron Man. Todd, before Robert was announced, yeah. it was uh, rumored, and we've heard since, that you were considered for the role. <laughs> what happened? We, you know, just some creative differences, and I, I was reading other scripts, and right. wanted, the wanted mummy, to maybe... Was the mummy on your plate at that time? <laughs>
The mummy was something, you know, I was build, trying to build out my own universe, the dark, the dark universe. Yeah, that and, uh, worked out pretty well. Gentlemen, if I can get this conversation back to above the line territory, well, let's do some fun rapid fire questions. George, start with you. If you could Netflix and chill with anyone throughout history, who would that be? It would probably be, uh, you know, Sergei uh, Eisenstein, one of the great uh, filmmakers. Uh, so you, you, you would actually watch Netflix? We would watch the film. I, I understand what we're yeah, I think we should move on to, what's your favorite app? Uh, mozzarella sticks. <laughs> That's an it app. See what I did there? Yeah. I did. That it's another one. kind of app. It's not, it's not, it's not on the digital front. It, they are delicious. I was uh, thinking of something on your, your phone, your iPhone, Android. Ewan, your favorite app? Oh, I love words with friends. I just, that's all I am is Scrabble Add all me. day. That's right. Yeah, we'll play. That's, do you play? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, we ought to get one going right now. Yeah. Do you have a favorite letter? Um, my letter, my favorite letter, oh, I'd have to say O. It, Jeff, do you use a cellular oh, telephone? Oh, oh, gosh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 angry birds. Oh, I love that they're so angry, and then, then you throw the, the, there's pigs and birds, and uh, sometimes spiders, oh, I don't know if you heard. Uh, yes, yeah. Robert, oh, are you attempting a Jeff Goldblum uh, impression? Very good, very good. Uh, well, you, uh, uh, they're going to touch, kind of touch your wrist. Oh, everybody, it's almost everybody. like he's, yeah, 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 like he's haunting. Touch them. He's like, and then touch yourself, like a, you've got to touch yourself. A touch, your, touch yourself. Yeah. And then, oh, there it is, oh. Oh. there it is. Did the chair just break? Oh, oh, boy. Is that how they made their seats? Uh, they used the force, they used the force. Robert, are you, are you uh -oh. okay? I think you're gonna lose them. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, boy. Somebody's... Okay. Do not stop rolling. Do not stop rolling. I, I, I have to admit, I, I threw a bird at his chair, and that's how uh, oh, that's I fell. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, there it is, there oh, it is. He's, it's only a matter of time. Robert, we won't. Keep Go ahead, ask me a question for longer. Christ's sake, or otherwise I'm going to bust another chair oh, probably. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Robert, if you could steal an Oscar from anyone in Hollywood, who would it be? Oh, uh, that little girl from Piano. Did she win? I take it from her. Uh, the, the Anna, Anna Paquin, I agree, she was, uh, didn't deserve it. So maybe she would give it to you now. Uh, I don't think uh, we're asking uh, Anna Paquin to give uh, I feel Robert the Oscar. Uh, you and if you could steal an Oscar, you seem like too nice of a guy to do that. Well, I, don't, I don't know if I'd steal it, but I would maybe ask for it from, from Alec Guinness. He's a big hero, so if it, it would be kind of fun, you know, if Wonderful you gave actor. me one. I, he pl also played Obi-Wan Kenobi in No, Star we have Wars. kind of a thing there. Yeah, I'd steal it and I'd give it back. It was just kidding, Alec. <laughs> That'd be good. George Lucas, if you could steal an Oscar. I think I'd like to steal an Oscar from anybody at this point. I hesitate to move it to this next topic. Robert, starting with you, okay. porn, mobile or laptop? Depends if I'm on my back or my top. That's as far <laughs> as we'll take that. Ewan. You know, I'd rather not say if I've actually looked at it. Fair enough. Let's clean it up here with George Lucas. I like, actually have hologram uh, porn. I have that installed at my house. So that's similar to the Star Wars films. And I sit in the throne, you know, I have a replica of the throne room. And, and then, you know, obviously I say, Pulling out all I the say dirty George. things like, uh, you know, as the emperor, I say, you want this? You know, it's my penis. And if the fleet is lost, your friends will not survive. Right. Let's have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Tom, you prefer it mobile or on your computer? <laughs> well, you know, I got to say neither because I have a vivid imagination. No, I don't even use my hands. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, you could use your mind. That's uh, uh, tantric. But sometimes I like yes. to do it while I'm jogging. Uh, I have my uh, iPad strapped to my belly, and of course I look down and oh, don't. You oh, watch porno while you jog? Sure, sure, because uh, because of cardiovascular. We should go jogging again. Uh, yes, yes, I would love to. <laughs> you wear this coat. Mal Holland. Mal Holland. Yes, Mal Holland. Great very film. Very private, yes, very dark. Very private. That's yeah. how I like it. Oh. So Jeff Goldblum and Tom Cruise are going to go jogging, fully clothed. Uh, that's with yes, a computer yes, device yes, strapped uh, oh. to their Body to our belly. And oh, yes, 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 yes. In the yes, canyon. Yes, of course. <laughs> she, the canyon's the selling point. Yeah, yeah. see that? Yeah, right? Yes, yeah. yes. I think that's going to do it for us here at Above the Line. Oh, I'd like pleasure. to extend a heartfelt thank you to Jeff Goldblum, Tom Cruise, <laughs> George Lucas, Robert Downey Jr., and Ewan McGregor. Thank you so much for tuning in today, <laughs> and we'll Thanks, see boy. you real soon <laughs> on a, another Above it's the Line. A pleasure memorable, intimate conversations with some of Hollywood's most recognizable faces. I'm, I'm Mark Ellis. Hi, it's Tom Cruise, your favorite wingman. Hello, I'm Ewan McGregor. Jeff Goldblum here. I'm Robert Downey Jr. Hi, this is George Lucas, uh, creator of Star Wars. Thank you for watching Collider Video. Thanks for watching Collider Video. <laughs> there is no substitute. I'm supposed to tell you about Collider and how much I enjoy it. I don't know anything about it. 
ladder. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more things like this. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Or can I, can I do it as um, Obi-Wan? Hello there, this is Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> you press the button that says subscribe and the little bell. If you subscribe, click the bell, and uh, Jar Jar Binks forever. Okay, bye-bye.